and was ready to go to fourth grade, but uh, my principal decided to test what level I was on or with the grade level test, and you can guess what happened. And so they <laughs> talk about um, women being more empathetic, men being different, and that could be because of what is it, what, what's expected of women and what's expected of men. And also, there are certain things that are expected of children. Now, if those expectations are changed completely, um, do you think we would have a lot more children like you in the world? I think that uh, children should not be underestimated. We should not think of them as infantile. We should, uh, we should not limit their skills based on their age, but we should also not overestimate them. We shouldn't make them feel overwhelmed, otherwise they will just fail, they will just faint. And I honestly think that if other children were held up to my, uh, my standards, the standards that I have right now, then it would be honestly overwhelming. We should not underestimate children's talent. Too many children's talents have been wasted. Their uh, development is hindered if we don't show them that they have their own talents and things like that. What the, uh, Dr. Mabunda touched on earlier, but I think that children shouldn't be underestimated. They should not be limited based on their age. They should be limited based on how well you teach them. For example, I uh, was ready to go to fourth grade, but uh, my principal decided to test what level I was on or with the grade level test, and you can guess what happened. And so they. <laughs> <laughs> So I decided to take the average of 4th grade and my score, and so I decided to go all the way to 8th grade because I wanted to take the spelling bee, but I also wanted to make my school day a bit harder because I didn't want to just sit around in a 4th fourth, fourth grade classroom all day feeling just really bored. So I went to 8th grade, uh, so I went to 8th grade, and the thing is that shows that just because me or another child in 9 doesn't mean they are educated or their development should be limited to the fourth grade curriculum. They shouldn't be underestimated, but they also should not be overestimated. If you have a child and you don't teach them well, and then you just throw them into some kind of, well, if you, if you throw them into some kind of tournament or spelling bee, you don't expect them to do well because you didn't teach them well. You have to have a good, uh, you have to have a good teacher in order to get a good education. And I feel that that's what school does. It uh, just pushes you into, uh, most schools just push you into really bad classes. And then what they do is to take a, a really over expectation from you. So the thing is, they have your over expectation. And in fact, I have seen so many, uh, I have seen so many comments saying, imagine what is happening to his cousins. Uh, who are expected to be just like him. Yeah, uh, so you shouldn't underestimate children, but you shouldn't overestimate them too. So I think that's a very uh, interesting topic.